Okay, then there's figure ground. Now, figure ground, I will tell you, students have a tendency to have the most difficulty with because they are new terms. So what does that mean? It means the outline separates the visual field into the figure, which is the foreground, and the ground, which is the background. Now, here's an easy way to remember. What letter does figure start with? What letter does foreground start with? <laughs> okay, that didn't quite didn't quite fit. This one right here. F. So figure and foreground both start with the letter F. See, don't I tell you I love having smart Alex in my class? It makes things so much more entertaining. Now, for my next one, okay, it's not exact, it doesn't exactly fit. Ground and background. Can't be with, they, they don't both, both start with the same letter, but which ones have the word ground? <laughs> Without the F. The background. Okay, so usually actually it's easiest to remember figure and foreground because they both start with F. Eliminate that, what do you have left? The ground and the background. Now, I've also had students ask me, okay, why can't we just say foreground and background? Why do they have to have figure and ground? I have no idea. I was not alive when they created this. But you do want to remember those terms because they are used. People will refer to the figure and the ground. So the figure or the foreground consists of those elements of a scene that are the object of our primary attention. All right, so it's what we have a tendency to be most likely to pay attention to. And the ground and background is everything else. So here's a very simple example before we get to those. I'm standing up here. You are, you are watching me give you a lecture. What is the figure? Me. What's the ground? Everything else, this beautiful wall behind me, this lovely table, that's the background. What do you see here? A triangle and a circle. Which would you say is the figure? The triangle. Pretty easy, right? So the circle, in that case, becomes the background. What do you see here? And I don't want to hear Pac-Man. We already went through Pac-Man. A square over circles, which is the figure? Square. The square, which is the background? What about this one? Triangle. Triangle and a circle. Okay, you guys got it. You guys are so brilliant. This makes another great exam question, by the way. Now, there are some properties of figure ground that I want to point out to you, because you guys actually picked on, up on it pretty quickly. But you may not have been completely aware of what you were doing. Figures tend to be more memorable than the ground, right? They tend to stand out more. It's easier for us to remember them. I'm sure you would recognize me before you would recognize the wall behind me, I hope. Figures are often being seen as in front of the ground. So when I asked you, what this is, and I asked you which was, a, which was in front, everyone said the triangle, the square, the triangle, because we naturally see the figure as being in front. The ground has a tendency to be seen as uniform, as uniform material. And it tends to extend behind the figure. So again, this is not a circle with a hole in the middle. It's a circle. And the contour separating the figure from the ground appears to belong to the figure. Tell me what you see up there, very quickly. Okay, I'm so glad I couldn't hear. I hear all of you couldn't understand any of you. So, men on horses. 
Some say, can you see the black ones? And then you can see the white ones. There's some white and black ones if you really start looking at the details. Now, if you focus on the white ones, do you see the black ones? If you're not focused, if you are focusing on the white ones. No, you really don't. That's where your locus of attention is. Now I want you to focus on the black ones. You see the white ones if you are focusing on the black ones. Not really. It kind of, they all starts kind of to blend into each other. So that's an example. This, of course, is an illusion, an art. I don't recommend putting this in your interface. So with the figure in the ground, remember its relationship to attention. Let's look at some examples. Let's start with this one. This one tends to be a little more obvious. I want you to tell me what is the figure and what is the ground? Someone said the picture. So this right here? The whole thing. It can be a figure. And in that case, what's the ground? Then all the rest of this. Now we just see it as kind of dark. But if you look closely, you can see things. That, but we just kind of interpret it as a background. Is there another way of seeing a figure and ground there? I'll give you a hint. I actually kind of pointed one out already. Right, so it can be just the picture is the figure, and then the ground is the white. So it can be looked at that way also. So it's not one of these things that's black and white all the time. Now let's look at another interface. I guess it's not actually another interface. It's from the same web page. But look at that. Where's the figure and where's the ground? Everything is I heard everything is the figure and what? The and after, OK, so you're talking about the text, for example, is the figure and the image also. And then Africa is the ground. That actually is correct. Is there another way of interpret interpreting it? What was the figure? The figure is what? The figure is the foreground, where you have it. It tends to be what you you are paying attention to. You tend to see it in front of the ground, and it tends to be what you remember the most. So in that example, it's the, the text. And that's one, 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 part, one way of looking at it in this example is the text is the, this text here is the figure, and Africa is the ground. The image with Africa is the ground. Is there any other way of interpreting it? OK, the answer is yes, there is. That's my subtle hint. Yes. Can the photo be a figure? Yes, the, it can be that the photo is the figure. And the rest is the ground. The writing. the writing can be the figure, too. So it really depends on what you're focusing on. If you have someone who's on a photo server looking at pictures, what do you think is probably going to be their figure, even if there is text around somewhere? Picture. The picture. So remember that context an experience can bias us in terms of how we interpret what's the figure and what's the ground. What are we paying attention to? 